morning so <laughs> i just woke up and it's already dark it's already dark it's still dark i don't know why it's about 8 a.m in the morning is it 8 yes and i'm going to the shelter so i wasn't planning to go initially because i have so many things to do today but then they really like short staffed and it was like okay i'm gonna go and walk some dogs so that's what the plan is right now i wish i had like time to do the whole like limb train uh, massage on my face because your girl is looking puff and rough i don't know i drink a lot of water before bed but yeah i think i'm gonna bring my raincoat with me just in case because the window looks wet i'm gonna dress now and i'm gonna try not to wake up bob because he screams on the top of his lungs when i leave my house Scruffy's already awake good morning Scruffy. Hey. Why you put your ears down? It's like you're being... <laughs> you got to put them up. You got to stay positive. This is today's outfit. The feet of the day. Oh my god. <laughs> Why are you so excited? This is the current situation with the weather. It's not... It's not raining anymore, but still not great. Yeah, <sighs> someone parked like that. I mean, it's my fault partially, but they could have do a better job too. So, to suck. That area is so pretty. Like you go down the hill and you can see all the buildings on the hill, on the other side of the hill. It's so cool. I love Cincinnati so much. I'm taking this booger for a car ride. She does not like apparently walks. Wait, she got all tangled. <sighs> Hold on. But yeah, she does not like walks, so I'm gonna take her for a car ride. And apparently, she's supposed to like it. We'll see. Look how cute we look in this harness. So adorable. You're like uh, some kind of special forces. This guy is so cute. Look at him. Okay. All done. This is shelter. We're going back home now. So I just got back home and now I actually have to leave again because I need to go stop by post mail, um, ship some things out. Then I have to take my dogs for a walk, clean up because it's nasty out here. And I have uh, friends today coming, we're gonna do a sleepover, watch a movie or something. So it's gotta be clean, I have to do like lots of clean, I have to wash dishes, you know, all this boring crap. Then I also have to call my mom because we usually talk on weekends. I don't know actually if I'll have time today because it's super busy. And at 2 p.m. I need to meet my friend in her house which is 30 minutes away so i like really need to you know ali ali accent fee <laughs> i just took a shower and i'm trying to oh my god and i'm trying to figure out like a good outfit for this mud trucking event we're going to i want it to be a mud trucking outfit so <laughs> i think that would be actually perfect However, those pants are gigantic even for me, even for me. But I've seen so many cute outfits styling this type of pants, so I really wanted them for a long time. And then I seen them at Walmart and they were just like, what, $7? And of course, when I see pants that I wanted for $7, I'm having this adrenaline rush, you know, the blood coming to my brain. So I wasn't even thinking to try them. I just grabbed them and now they're too big. I ordered um, the tape, like sport type of belt, because I feel like the sport type of belt is like better for cargos or whatever these pants are. <sighs> That's so unfortunate. I really want to wear those and I would put sneakers on and my pro bass hat, but maybe I will just wear my regular black cargos. I don't know. It's a dilemma, a dilemma. I'm leaving and I can hear him from here. That's so crazy. The weather is really nice, oh my god, it's so sunny and hot today. I just arrived to my friends, those are actually my old apartments, I, they were really cute, going after like medieval village vibe or whatnot, behind those um, UFO plates, it's probably like a TV plate. Either way, those um, buildings were my old apartment. I don't know, every time I come here, I kind of miss it. Maybe I'm just like romanticizing that era of my life. Because when I used to live here, it was good, but it wasn't like, wow, amazing. But now I'm like, oh, I kind of miss it. I don't know. It's cute and quiet and peaceful, so. Here's a lake. Someone is fishing out there even. It's nice. The whole setup is really nice. I wish you could swim in this lake. That would be really cool. He's going mud trucking tonight. As soon as you cross the border with Cincinnati, immediately it's like all of these hills and mountains. Hills and the mountains. It's like the whole different atmosphere. Isn't that so weird? So weird. Oh my god. What if you're gonna jump out of there? Can he? I think it's just a little cow. Maybe. <laughs> I just want to bet your face. <laughs> cute, cute. 
pimple on my forehead. I haven't been having any pimples on my forehead since I was like 15. Like a third eye is opening. That's the casino, look at it. Hollywood. I think it's fun. It would be fun to go there. They got a disco book night. Yeah, booger night. So we're at the place and it looks a little bit empty so far, not that many parked cars around there. Look how huge it is. Them wheels. Are they gonna destroy them? Yeah. Or well they they're gonna destroy the bus. We're racing. Oh. This looks like a vehicle I would drive to work, for sure. Oh, I love the Barbie ones. We, we came here early, but now we're having a mini bar going. <laughs> Such a fun meal here. It's a wine that we're drinking from the bottle like that, classy. Pickle chips, nachos, um, what you got? Hot dog with chili? And this is cheese steak. Cheese steak on a stick. Show's supposed to start at, what, six? So it's gonna be an hour. So what is gonna be today in this show? Matrix, monster matrix. Derby. Whatever the that means. Are they gonna contest. roll over? I would do it. I'd do it. Like from a hill? No, they like flip their car. They like go oh. over and, like they literally flip it on curves. Can you unflop like or you just if the car gets on its back it's like a like a turtle? Call it again. Yeah. You wanna <laughs> however whoever gets the most flips wins, I guess. Oh okay. I Let's go, boss. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's We've seen um, a lot. We've seen the buses and we've seen the bug cars, hornets, and we've seen the trucks a little bit. So that was fun. They were sledging and sweating bullets at that stadium. That was so hot. Today is like what 90 degrees Fahrenheit. The guy in front of us was gonna have a heat stroke. Yeah, he needed ice. He needed ice. He got some ice. He got robbed by ice and he got saved by Heather. <laughs> yeah, and his family. Yeah, and his family, but yeah. Heather mostly. <laughs> I think we exited now. We live in Indiana, We're going to Kentucky. It's so cool, so cool to be in a three state. It's like, you know, you can be. It's the try. The try. I thought, I said three. Yeah. I thought it's three state. Try. Try state, state, but don't try us. Never. <laughs> <laughs> That was such a crazy day. It's already 2 a.m. in the morning and my friends are at my house. We're doing like a sleepover. We just had sushi and watched a movie and it was super fun. My friend going to a beauty school, so she was doing facial on me. No, it doesn't sound right. She gave me a facial with all of the steps like cleansing and everything, moisturizing. So that felt really nice. I feel really moisturized right now and radiant. It's so late and I'm so tired and exhausted. So I'm going to sleep now because tomorrow I'm going to the King's Island. It's going to be another long and fun and busy day. The next day. Good morning, it's Sunday. My friends just left after the sleepover and I got ready and everything to go to Kings Island. I think I look a little puffy because I had lots of wine yesterday, the racetrack, the mud truck. 
I'm very excited because today at King's Island, it's not just the whole rides, it's also gonna be the carnival and it's gonna be food from six different countries, which is, of course, I'm excited about that a lot. So basically they're like doing a semi Epcot experience, if you will. And I'm here for it because Epcot was hella expensive and this um, tickets for King's Island for this carnival gonna be only like $60 per person, including food. If I understood it correctly, I'm gonna, we're gonna go ahead and buy tickets now and see how much it's actually gonna cost. I think it's gonna be super fun. I'm gonna go ahead, pack my clear backpack that I got. I have a, what is going on? I have a new backpack that I got for Chicago trip. I think they allow you to get on the rides with the backpack or a Fanny Penny bag. As long as it's not like a loose item, I think it will be okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I don't wanna lose any more time because it's already 12, park open until 10. I don't want to, you know, not have enough time to ride all the rides. I hope weather will be good. I'm excited and I think it's gonna be a fun day. So see you at the park. Here are the hop shops. I've never seen a gas station like that. No, it's actually a sun call i think pumping some gas and we're already in mason so i think you can see king's island from there there's the roller coasters out there everything at this gas station is so bizarre a whole bunch of frogs did you see it's like a riveting frog themed gas station and then that's the name of the sandwich the poor boy sub and how much was it eight dollars <laughs> yeah. yeah that's what poor boy said eight dollar sandwich from a gas station <laughs> We're about to walk like five miles. It's gonna be 5k walk. It's tough today. Like there is not even, next time we should get VIP parking. That's what that is. It's like Mardi Gras, but in Ohio. It's Grande Carnaval. Look how cool everything is decorated. I love that. So here it should be open. It's supposed to be French cuisine. And I'm about to get me a croissant. Oh my God, I want to take a picture over there. Look how cute. Planet Snoopy have really cool blue ice cream. You want to try some? You see the line there for blue ice cream? We're gonna try to. We're gonna try to win one. There's a South Park toys. Look at them. Only two cartmans. Very unfortunate. You wanna try? Right now? Yeah. Look at that blue ice cream. It's really pretty color. I'm not sure what flavor it is, but it's pretty good. Good ice cream. This is the best ride ever. The music is so intense. <laughs> so everything themed after the Miami River. Miami River got a monster. It's so scary. Like water walk log ride. It looks kind of fun. I wonder how many people will line up there. Did you hear it? Yeah. It starts saying don't go in the shed, then change it to go in the shed, go in the shed, go in the shed. I love that part, that's my favorite part. It's in the shed, it is in the shed. And it's gonna, it's like a feeling when you fly, I think, that's the one. It's gonna be a lot of loops, so. Gotta take the glasses off. That's how high it goes. But it's more looping than it is high, really. Look at all that. It's like themed, it's a cemetery. Because Banji is like, what, a ghost or something? Yeah. For all the people who passed away on this ride. Next ride we're going to is Vertigo. Oh my god, the music is loud. Right 
first the entrance is all there. Now we're just walking around this international street looking for some international foods because our tickets include six food samples. It's on a scene, look at that. Love to hear that. I feel like I have to have this. It's called Cincy because of the flying pigs of Cincinnati. How much it costs? <laughs> I think it's uh, the start of the carnival. That's why they do that whole thing. So we got in the German side. Uh, it's Kulusher Burger Sliders, I think. Something Wurzer Kruist, Wurzer Kruist Slider. It has a cucumber on the top and cherry tomato and marinated pork for sure or here's such a cool view on the fountain and it's shady such a perfect spot to sit and eat almost like a fountain show in Bellagio isn't it <laughs> almost almost <laughs> almost like the quality we're gonna get Italian now that's what they got Panzerotti, Capresa Fresca, and whatever the hell, the third option. So I end up getting the Panzerotti with, what is even inside? Mozzarella, pesto, tomato, the good old Italian uh, set of foods inside. The whole fried dumpling Panzerotti thing, it wasn't, it's not that great. It's like a, like a fried egg roll dough and then stupid vegetables with stupid ricotta cheese like ricotta cheese is even stupider so it was like 4 out of 10 that's the score for the dumpling right now I'm not really into spicy because I ate so much already definitely not those balls the Mongolia beef oh balls. the sesame balls the balls like the yes I'm not yeah, getting yeah, them the next ride we're going on the snake ride it's called diamond something <laughs> the jesse wanted a grilled chicken sandwich so we stopped by this american 50 style diner good food it's good yeah. Is it like Chickafilla or better or worse? It might be on par with their grilled chicken. Huh? It might be on level with their grilled chicken. Wow! Yeah, I am so full that I cannot... I can't eat anything after those sliders and the Italian stupid pie. But that looks good. The chicken like looks nice, well seasoned and everything. Park, the cool thing about it is that it has the best dining options. It's better than Bush Gardens, better than... What was the other ones? Universal Studios. Universal Studios probably has like the worst food out of all the parks I've been to. Yeah. It's definitely got here. We did ride, I think, three or four rides at this point. And it's getting hard. It's getting tiring. We're probably gonna ride two more rides today and finish the international food experience. Because there's like China left, Spain, and another country, and then we're gonna go home. That's the restaurant with the chicken sandwich. Well, look at that. We are not alone. <laughs> Authorized personnel only. Some kind of barn. Look how pretty with all the lights. All right, let's meet our contestants here before we play. What's your name? One, two, three, shoot. This is the boom boom or bang bang chicken that we got in China. Here we go again. It's spicy and juicy. Such a brown. Alright guys, here we go. Step on back, 
park and we are super tired. We used all the, I mean, I mostly used all of the foods that were included in the tickets. Sampled it all and now we're gonna go back home. Park's still open one more hour. It's better to leave now so we're not gonna get struck in the traffic. We gotta be smart. So yeah, we're leaving now, but it was fun. Right? Yeah. Okay. The car parked so fucking far away. <laughs> We're gonna be walking right now for like 10 minutes at least to get to the car. Wanna go for a jog? For what? A jog? No. I'm absolutely <laughs> not gonna. Take a left onto the path. Beep beep. Okay, we're gonna pay attention to the rules of the road. Look, my, there's all these bikes. Maybe it's for us to use so we can hop on the bike. Oh, maybe we should steal one. I'm just kidding. Lock them on the bike locks. They're not nice. And oh, I don't, I don't have a high trust society here. I trust society here. Do you trust society? Well, that's why your bike would be stolen. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually my favorite part of the day. How is this type of the part of the day called? Is it twilight? Or sunset? Dawn. dawn. No, dawn is in the morning. No, dusk. Dusk is in the yeah. morning. <laughs> Which one is in the morning? I, was, I mean, I thought this was dawn. Oh, was maybe, it, yeah, maybe you're right. Dawn. Who knows? It's really pretty, isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it romantic? Very romantic. Very romantic. Look, on the other side, it's already moon. I wish my phone had better quality. It looks just like a bulb <laughs> in the sky. But they're still riding the roller coasters. We should have stayed and ride some more. That's so cool. I love that. I love this day. Today is the nice day.